Good morning, everyone. This is Bremster, and today I'm doing a puzzle that um, I've actually had a couple of recommendations more. This is a Phaedrus Estevis by Pulverizing Pancake. Um, this is a puzzle that was apparently inspired by a gas puzzle by Philip Newman, um, and Pulverizing Pancake felt the need to play with this. Um, a Phaedrus Estevis apparently is a little green snake. Um, I'm not sure what the exact species of the snake is, but um, oh, apart from the fact that it's a Phaedrus Estevis, but I don't know what the English translation is. Um, and you can kind of see in the grid why it is called why it is. I don't think I've got any announcements today other than let's do a puzzle. So let's get straight into it. Um, oh, I do. I will have information about the upcoming Entropic Power Lines pack really, really soon. Um, hopefully I will, on the day I've got the full announcement, I'll just drop the pack live for you all. Um, I'm sorry about the delay. I'm recording well in advance and we're just locking in the details. I believe there's just final testing happening now. So... Let's get on to this puzzle. Uh, three rules in effect. So we've got normal Sudoku rules in every box, in every row, and in every column. We must place the digits one to nine without repetition. Uh, the big rule on this one seems to be the whispers rule or German whispers, which is um, on these green lines, you um, adjacent digits must differ by at least five. Um, and there are some ramifications to this. The most obvious one, and this is going to come into play very quickly, I can see, is that you can never place a five on a whisper line, because if you do, five lower than five is zero, not between one and nine. Five higher than five is ten, which is also not one to nine. So um, that will come into effect, and there'll be other things that come into effect that I can see already, so I'll stop talking about that until I'm solving. Um, the final rule only impacts these little, these two cells down here, um, which is the tip of the thermo must be higher than the bulb of the thermo. So this digit will be higher than that one. Um, and that's all we've got to go on. Let's give this a shot. So that digit right there, 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 and that digit right there are all fives. That means that digit right there is a five. Uh, that digit right there is a five, and that digit right there is a five. Okay, so we get the fives to start with. Um, now I can highlight those cells, and I can make those fours and sixes. And the reason for that is in... On a whisper line, because of the five difference, there's only one digit you can put next to a four, which is a nine, and one digit you can put next to a six, which is a one. And if you think about that, it's fairly clear. Five down from four is not within one to nine. Five up, you've only got the nine. And if you do the six, five down from six is one. Five up from six is eh. So there's only one digit you can place. So if you were to put a four or a six in the middle of a line, it doesn't work. So they have to each go at the ends. But that, of course, means that the ones and nines must go next to the fours and sixes. So these will be ones and nines. Now... I've actually done this in a puzzle of my own, so I'm probably shortcutting here. If we look at these digits here now, these are going to be... a little constrained. Yes, they absolutely are. So... if you... Look at these. The digits we've got left are 2, 3, 7, and 8. But if I was to put a 7 in the middle, then the 7 would have to be bounded by 1 and 2 because the... Um, okay, so on a whisper line, the digits must always go high, low, high, low. Because of the five digit, each time you put a low digit, you will have to jump to a high digit. And each time you put a high digit, you will have to jump to a low digit because it will leapfrog the five. So we know, and I'm just going to pick a color here. So I'm going to use, um, I want to use colors that aren't my normal high, low coloring. So I'm actually going to use green and purple. Uh, green's bad. I'm going to use... I think I'm going to use orange and purple. So I'm going to mark these as orange and I'm going to mark these as purple. That is a bad combo. I'm actually going to use blue, I think. 
and hope. I probably got that wrong. So I'm going to use orange and purple, um, but I don't know which one is which. And these will be different. Now, if I was to make this a seven, these would have to be low digits, but the three would not be five away from the seven. So I can't put seven in the same here. I can't put seven in the middle. And the same is true with three. If I put three in the middle, then it would have to be bounded by two high digits, but the seven is not far enough away from three. So I can't put three in the middle. So what I end up with is two eight here, and these become the three seven. So I could go one, three, eight, two, seven, one, um, and that would work. And these are, this these lines are forced by the fact that if I was to put a three or a seven in here, I wouldn't have the appropriate low digits. And this will be true on all of these lines. So these digits here must be three, seven, and these digits must be two, eight. These digits here must be three, seven, and these digits must be two, eight. These digits must be three, seven, and these must be two, eight. These digits must be three, seven, these must be two, eight. These digits must be three, seven, and these digits must be two, eight. Okay. Well, I can get the coloring of this because this is a different three, seven to this one. So this will be orange. So now we know that, that, and that are orange, that, that, and that, and that are blue. That four, six is different to that one. So that, 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 and that are orange, and those are blue. Blue. This is blue, 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 and blue. This What did I do here? Why did I put the one nine there? These are all correct, I think. Three seven two eight three one nine three seven two eight four six one nine three seven two. Yeah, the shapes of these lines obviously got me incredibly confused. That was all nonsense. This is one nine. This is three seven, and these are two eight. Yeah, that, these line shapes, that was just me being wrong. My logic is good, but the pencil marking here was complete and utter nonsense. Right, now, this is orange because I, I can see a blue. I'm pretty certain the rest is good. I think I just entered that stupidly. So this is orange, so these are orange, and these are blue. And... I've got a one nine here, which sees that. So that, 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 and that are blue, and these are orange. So hopefully with that, I can now do some placement. So this line probably is where I need to look. Well, actually, I need to put a blue three seven in one of those. That's probably not what I'm looking for. Orange one nine down here. Actually, these are both orange because I've got all four blue. So these are orange, so that'll help. That is orange. That is blue. So that is orange, so that's a three, seven. So these are four, six, and two, eight. Now that can be a one, nine, I think. Hmm. Hmm, so this, two, four, six, eight. Well, that can't be an orange two, eight. That is not a two, eight at all because it sees one. So that's the four, six. So that is not the four, six. This is the blue one, nine. So this is now a blue one, nine, three. This is a blue two, eight.
doing Sudoku with colors is a little tricky. Um, but that is something that just jumped out at me. That is an orange one nine that sees those. That is an orange one nine that sees those. That's an orange one nine that sees those. And that's already a five. That is an orange one nine which means I have to put an orange 1-9 in there somewhere. I have to put an orange 1-9 in one of those. Damn. But I do know what this is. This has to also be orange, and it's an orange 4-6. So there's an orange 4-6 right there. That is an orange 4-6. Possibly would have been easier doing this with letters, but yeah, I then wouldn't have known what the digits were, and it would have been a pain, so no. Um, is my OBS flickering still? Uh, that would be bad. I thought I'd reset it all and possibly fix that. We will find out. Okay. Um, so I need to put three sevens in these and a single one nine. So I need to put a blue one nine into this column. I can't put it there and I can't put it there. So this is a blue one nine. So that is a blue one nine. So these are three sevens. So that is a three seven and therefore has to be blue. No, that one is not blue. That one is orange because that one sees an orange three seven. So these are now down to an orange one nine and a blue four six. Hmm, tricky. So this line now is limited. This line is very limited. So we've got a blue three seven and then a blue four six and an orange one nine. So one of these is an orange one nine. So that has to be the orange one nine. Because if I put the orange one nine here, both of these are blue and that's not going to work. This is an orange one nine. Because that orange one nine can't go here. I need to put an orange on this line. So this is not the orange one nine. This is the blue four six. This is not the blue four six. This is the orange one nine. And this here is the blue three seven. This is very cool. So I need to put an orange in here, which is a 2.8. So there's an orange 2.8 in one of those. Okay, I've got to put an orange still in this row, which is the orange 3.7. Can't go there. Can't go there. This is an orange 3.7. So these are both blue. And I need 2.8 and 4.6. That can't be 4.6. So that's 2.8 and that is 4.6. So in here, I'm missing just twos and eights. That one is an orange two eight. That one is a blue two eight. Uh, this row, I am missing an orange two eight, which must go there. So this is now a blue four six. These are both blue. And I need to put a 3-7, which must go there, and a 1-9, which must go there. And if this is an 8, this would have to be higher than 8, and I can't put a 9 on it. Orange is low. So what I want to do is I want to select blue and make it red, because blue is my low color. I want to select orange and make it blue, and then I want to select red and make it yellow and now I have my coloring so I want to select all of the blue to eights and make them two I think I missed one I want to select all of the blue one nines and make them one all of the blue three sevens Make them three, all of the blue four sixes. And make them four. All of the yellow one nines. 
make them nine. All of the yellow to eight. Make them eight. Four sixes. Make them six. Three sevens. Make them seven. And apparently I missed to put it in a four. And that is Aphidius Estev... Est yeah, Stevius. That is cool fun. That was a nice little puzzle. Understanding the concept of how German whispers lines work and then using the pairs to do a Sudoku grid and then disambiguating it by the thermo. Very cool fun. I hope you gave that one a shot. Um, that was, yeah, that was a nice quick little puzzle. Um, possibly one of the fastest I've had on the channel in a while, but nice, fun, fast puzzles are still nice and fun. So yay. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. Thank you Pulverizing Pancake for giving me permission to do the puzzle. Um, and yeah, um, good luck with your solving.